we are going to uh, go through the answers on the exercises that you have done in Unit 1. Can you turn to page 12 of your textbook? So, activity 6A, we have seven useful things at home. The first one has been done for you. It says a dishwasher washes plates, cups, and many other things. Right? A dishwasher washes. Why? Because a dishwasher is a singular subject. So a dishwasher washes. Because a dishwasher is a singular subject. Okay? Can we try number two? A cooker makes food hot. A cooker make or makes? Alright. A cooker makes food cold. Cool or hot? A cooker makes food hot. Can we try number three? Can you try number three, Freezer? Freezer keeps. Freezer keeps food very cold. Very cold. Very good. Next. A freezer keep or keep? Keep. Keep. You do not need an S because you have a plural subject. Plural subject freezes. More than one freezer. So many freezers. So you say freezers keep. Okay, next. Can you try number four? <coughs> A fridge keeps food cold. Good. Food. Okay. Number five. <coughs> Washing machines wash clothes. Good. Number six. <coughs> Copies of papers. Photocopiers make copies of papers. Good. Next. What do you mean? A camera takes photographs. Yes. A camera takes. Take. Next. Yes. An oven bakes cookies. An oven, singular subject, you need an S to the verb. An oven bakes. Alright. Let us continue with activity 6B. Right. For this one, we have Peichi and Yi Sing. Okay, can you volunteer to become Peichi and you become Yi Sing? What would be the right form? Okay. Now, okay, we are saying that now. You are saying that what? Okay, do you do these days? So I am training to be a supermarket manager. Right. At this point of time, you are still doing it. Alright, can you continue? <coughs> Next. Really? What's it like? Do you enjoy it? It's alright. What about you? Well, actually, I don't work at the moment. I am trying to find a job, but it's not easy. But I'm very busy. I am decorating my flat. Are you doing do you do it alone? Do you do it alone? Okay? So you start okay the question with do you do it alone? Okay. Next. No, some friends of mine have been me. Some friends of mine? Where is the verb? What is it? Uh, helping. Ah, oh, helping me. Good. Okay, you have many friends. Some friends are helping me. When you say, well, actually, I am not working at the moment. When you are saying it at that point of time, that is progressive. Present progressive. I am not working at the moment. If people ask you, Alimi, what are you doing now? I am studying in USM at the moment. At this point of time, it is present progressive. It is continually being in action. You are now a student. So, what do you do? I am studying. Good. And what do you do? I am trying to find a job but it is not easy. When you use verb with ing, it means it is in a present progressive tense. What does it mean? The action is taking place at the moment. Are you clear? Alright, let us move at page 13. Okay? 
I am trying to find a job, yes, but it is not easy. Okay. Alright. Let us do page 13. Okay. Would you like to try? Number one says the earth goes round the sun. You are asked to use the following verbs to complete the sentences. Rice doesn't grow in Britain. How about number three? Yes. The sun rises. How do you spell it? R I S E. The sun is it a singular subject or a plural subject? Singular. So for a singular subject, what do you need and you to add your word? So the sun rises. Good. The sun rises in the east. R I S E S. Okay. Next. Yes. Bees make honey. Do you need an S? No. no. Why? Bees plural. Very good. You're getting it. Tiffany, can you try number five? Vegetarians. Good. Vegetarians do not eat meat. Okay. Vegetarians do not eat meat. Good. Very fast. Next, Alibi. Alibi is 
still ill, but he is getting better slowly. He is getting better slowly. Good. So this is what we call okay, progressive tense. Okay? Next. The world is changing. Things are still seen. Well done. Number four. Because of living is rising. Every year things are more expensive. Okay, we have used the word rising. What other word can we use? Yes, the cost of living is increasing. Good. And the last one? Well, good. 
the Australia the Australian defending is 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 an ex Robert easy chicken and and as learning children companion. It makes an ideal cat for apartment living and is truly a cat which has its own. Which has it. Alright, well done. Okay? So who has a cat or a pet? Any one of you has a cat, has a pet? Don't be tired. Okay. That's sad. You can get a new cat, okay? But not here. Okay? Alright. Now, so we are going to recap. As we go along, you still need to keep yourself okay, aware of what are the nouns, the verbs, okay, the adjectives, adverbs, and so on. Alright? Now, let us move on to unit 2. Unit 2, mini tags. Alright? What are mini tags? At the end of this unit, you should be able to understand and analyze mini text. Compose short paragraphs to complete a story and identify adjectives and adverbs. Okay? So, before that, I would like to show you. Let us review the parts of speech in English. Okay, have you heard this before? Alright. How do you identify parts of speech? Okay? Parts of speech are identified based on distribution. Let us look at them. Okay? Distribution of nouns. Nouns may follow determinants. What are determinants? Okay? Look at the color code. You can identify them based on the color code. In orange are the determinants, red are the nouns. So what are nouns? Nouns are living and non-living things. So you have third house, most people, some ideas, few years, each person, year, dog. Nouns may follow adjectives. We have nice house, hungry people, great ideas, good years. Okay? We have proper nouns. Okay, Tiffany, you told me about proper nouns. Okay? So proper noun, you do not need a determiner. You do not say the University Science Malaysia. There is only one University Science Malaysia. So that proper noun, you do not need a determiner. Okay? So you say John. Okay, Alimi. You do not say which boy, the Alimi. No. But you say Alimi. Okay, because it's proper noun. Kata nama khas in capital letter. Okay? Count nouns follow many, many houses, many people, many ideas. And not count, you can't count them uncountable. Much water, much money, much soup. Okay, much air. Okay. Look at these sentences. What is wrong in your opinion? Many rice. So what should it be? Some. Some rice. Good. Okay. How about this one? Do we need? We do not need a determiner because proper now. How many New York we have? Do we have in this world? One. So yes. Well done. So what is wrong? I have now few money than before. No. Can we count money? No. no. So if it's uncount, I have some money okay, than before. Or you can say I have less money than before. Collective noun. 
collective noun. Alright? Collective noun, so we group them all together and say that we need, you know, new furniture. We do not say we need new 110 furniture. You can't say that because it is collective noun. So the correct sentence should read, she needs to get furniture. Okay, so verbs, auxiliaries. You have done auxiliaries just now, okay? Verbs in blue, okay? So go, do, come, study, eaten. Verbs follow infinitive to. You also have to go, to do, to have, to believe, <coughs> to eat, to sing. And then we also have verbs. Noun phrase. NP stands for noun phrase. So you have John left. The computer crashed. He ate. You have a noun before the verb. Normally, when you write simple sentences, you should always begin with a noun phrase and then your verb. So this is how you do it. Okay? Linking verbs followed by adjective. Adjective in green. You always say this. Teacher, I am hungry. Have you had your breakfast, boys and girls? Okay. Not yet. Okay. So am I. So we are all hungry. Okay. So hungry is an adjective or is the verb. Was cold. Feels great. Feel good. I feel good today. I love Monday. Do you all love Monday? No. <laughs> so you wish to start what? You wish you, you, you start your day with Friday, is it? <laughs> Transitive verbs followed by noun phrase. Mad Sam saw a movie, sold a car. You do not have to remember all this. What I am showing you is just to create your awareness so that you know verbs appear in many ways. Okay. Intransitive cannot be followed by noun phrase. So we have John left. They ate. She slept. It rained. Do you know what is an adjective next? Look at this. You have a more complex. Okay. You have an adjective, a determiner, and a noun. You always write this. Okay, we have a nice boy. Which one? A handsome boy. Okay. A beautiful girl. So a determiner, beautiful adjective that describes the girl. Alright, a the perfect kind. The is the determiner. Alright? Perfect is the Adjective that describes <coughs> you can say the kind, but when you put in adjective, if, if I ask you which time, you will say the perfect time. When you put in an adjective, it gives me more clearer view of how you describe your noun. So the best time, the most memorable time. Okay? So are you clear of how it is in English? Why we are we have the difficulty okay, in our mother tongue, in our Malay language, Bahasa Malaysia, we do not have determiner. Do we have determiner? Okay? We do not have determiner. Uh, the, one, or, okay? We regard everything in general. So that's why when it comes to English, you feel it is a bit confusing because you are so used of not having a determiner. That incredible book. Adjective follow linking verbs. So you will have, okay, she is happy. Okay, you will say, okay, she seems tired. The food tastes wonderful. The food smells great. Okay, it sounds good. We were sad. Right? So, these are all linking verbs, right? So if you see that seems, taste, 
that will tell you that the subject that you need in front should agree with the verb. So taste, if you have S, what subject do you need in front? A singular or a plural subject? Singular. A singular subject. Okay, good. So if you say taste without an S, you can use a plural subject. Okay? So if you can remember this, you should be fine when it comes to writing correct sentences. You just have to know what should be in front. If we have is, do we need a singular or a plural subject? Singular. Ali is happy. The cat is happy. Can we say the boys is happy? No. The boys are happy. Determiners. Okay, you have many, many forms of determiners. Er, uh, the, one, that, his, those, some, every. These are determiners, which in Bahasa Malaysia we do not have. Okay? Prepositions. Do you know prepositions? For, down, under, beside, next. For, around, with, by, up, from, and, before, on, in, out, across, near. All these are prepositions. Did you learn that back in school? Yeah. Do you still remember that? Okay? So these are prepositions. Followed by noun phrase. Okay? will connect, you know, two subjects, two ideas, like John and Mary, okay? Sad but true, but is the conjunction. Or, eat or drink, would you like to eat or drink? Okay? He thinks that he is smart. Mary slept while John studies. Okay? These are conjunctions. Normally, it comes in the middle of two ideas, Okay, or two phrases. So these are conjunctions. She ate after she ran. I'm tired, so I will go. And next, pronouns. Pronouns are okay. I, we, you, he, she, it, they. These can only be the subject of a sentence, meaning in front of a sentence. Okay, the subject in the sentence. Object, me, us, you, him, her, it, them becomes the object. There are many forms. Have you come across these reflexive pronouns? Myself, I love myself. Alright? Let us do the work by ourselves. Okay? Alright? This, that, this, those cannot be followed by a noun. Okay. Possessive. Okay. I will go through this slide very quickly. Adverbs. Right? If you ask me adverbs, adverbs may follow verbs. This is how it comes. Eat quietly, sleep peacefully, speak well. So these are adverbs. What are the adverbs which precede adjectives? Very happy. So very, okay? Happy is an adjective, very is the adverb. So tired, quite wonderful. Okay. Adverbs we precede adverbs, we have very quietly, so peacefully, rather well. Okay? Auxiliary. Right? If you ask me what is auxiliary in your textbook, you have modals <coughs> in base form. So these are modals. Should, will, must. When you use modal, your verb will come in the base form. Okay? Should eat, will have, must see. And then we have have, has, and verbs must be in past participle. 
have eaten, has seen, have been. Right? And then be in progressive. Okay? Just now you did that. Is eating, was laughing, everything. You have present progressive, you have past progressive. Okay? Is our was word. Okay? Now, what I would like you to do is to turn your textbook. Okay? The second unit of your textbook. I would like you to go through the second unit. Okay? On page 9, you have the notes on revision of adjectives and adverbs. What are adjectives and what are adverbs? And on page 10 and 11, you are asked to put in the adjectives and write the story. Okay? And then it ends on page 12. Okay? And then on page 12, you have the notes on adjectives. And based on the notes, you are asked to do the exercises on page 13. Right? right. So, this is the homework that I am going to assign you. Page 14. Right? Page 14. You have a homework, but this is group based. I would like you to get into groups of four. Okay? And the four of you should write a story. Okay? Alright? And present the story in class. So, I am giving you one week from now to think of this assignment. Alright? And then, not one week. When is your next meeting? On Thursday, right? Thursday. So, today is Monday. Okay? I think you need less than one day to complete this assignment. Okay? So, can you all come back and present on Thursday? What do you have to do? You have to write your own original story. Okay? We have a sample on page, okay, like on page, just now, page 9, 10. Okay, one day, okay, a, a long time ago, there is a beautiful girl, okay, whatever. Alright. Now, the idea of writing a short text is for you to discuss your ideas and to try to use the adjectives and adverbs in your sentences. You will definitely have nouns and verbs in your sentences too. So, that is why we would like you to write your own story. Okay? So, on page 14, you get into groups of four. Okay, discuss on the best story and I would like each group to present on this day. How are you going to present? It has to be done in a PowerPoint slides. Each group should have at least 10 slides. You can have one, just one sentence in a slide and you move on from one sentence to the next. If you wish to have, a, if you wish to insert a picture on each slide, you are most welcome to do so. So on each slide, I would like you, okay, to color code, okay? So there are four things that we have to color code. Verb, now, what else do we have? Adjective and adverb, okay? So it is up to your group to decide which color goes for which color, okay? So if you feel that pink for verbs, okay, purple for now, so it is up to you to decide. But you have to guide us. So before you present, you will let us know that these are the code for the respective colors. Are you all clear? Create your own original story. It could be a Cinderella of your own version. It could be up to you, Hang Tua and Hang Jeban in a modernized version. Use your creativity. Make it as interesting as possible. Okay? Okay? Is there any question? Now, my best advice is keep to short, simple sentences. You know? So that you know which one is the subject, the verb, and the object. Alright? This is the first time you are asked to practice on the usage of these parts of speech. Nouns, verbs, adjectives, and adverbs. So, get them right. Okay? Are you all clear?
can we preserve them on the second hour during our meeting on Thursday? Okay? Alright, on the first hour, I will continue teaching. The second hour, you will do the presentation. Okay? Our class is from 2 to 4 on Thursday, right? So, okay, from 3 p.m. onwards, you all will do the presentation. Okay? Okay? Any question? So, boys, can you get deeper need to be in your group as well? Yes. Good. Thank you. So, any question? I strongly encourage everyone in the group to be involved during the presentation. Okay? Is there any question before I dismiss you? Yes, I mean. Where? Our class for Thursday. For Thursday? Our class is in BLT 2. BLT 2 or what? BLT 2. Yes, it's fixed. Every week. Okay, it's fixed. The venues are fixed unless, okay, I inform otherwise. Alright? If there is no question, I hope you will start preparing for your group presentation and then it is going to be a competition. We will choose and rate your stories. So during this, for instance, this is group one. When group one is presenting, group two, three, and four will evaluate and give, you know, stars. Okay? How many stars do you want to rate your friend's stories? Okay? And then, we, you know, the best story will be her friends. Okay? Okay, a holiday trip to Krabi for three days and two nights. <laughs> so I hope you will try your level best in this presentation. Okay? Alright, thank you boys and girls for coming. Have a good week ahead and assalamualaikum.